Hey. Hey, what's this? Uh, I'm nobody. The florist just delivered it to me. <laughs> oh, what are you starting to order flowers for yourself now? I didn't order these flowers. No, seriously, who are they from? I have no idea, I swear. Who are they from? I think they just got the wrong address. I'm, I'm gonna call the, the florist. Yeah, yeah. To my lovely Jill, who always makes my heart flutter faster. Nice. My God, I'm not the only one who makes your heart flutter faster, huh? What's this? What do you mean, what's that? What are you, an idiot? It's a note from the bouquet. Is your lover such an idiot as to send flowers to your home? Man, I wish you would have signed it. It can't Jesus. be. Jesus. Liar! Liar! Ah! Who are they from? I don't know, I swear. I know who they're from. I know who they're from. They're from some young stud, huh? Some young stud who wants nothing from you but your cash, right? Just because I have money doesn't mean I have lovers, Bernie. I love you. You love me? Is that what you told him? Probably the same thing. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Where are you going? Bernie, where are you going? I got a flight in two hours. I told you yesterday. You didn't tell me anything. I told you yesterday. You don't listen to anything I say. Jesus, listen, I got to work for a living. I don't have an inheritance like you. My God, and party with all these studs all the time. Bye. Honey, please. Oh, by the way, Lester's coming over tonight to get that green folder. Give it to him, all right? Arrivederci. I have no one, and I, I swear I have no idea where these flowers came from. What do you mean you cannot tell me who did the order? I have a right to know who is sending me anything. Okay, I see. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Jill. Hi, Lester. These are for you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Did you get my morning bouquet? So that was you. Guilty, Your Honor. Uh, you're all wet. Come in. I'll give you some coffee. Oh, can you give me the folder first so we oh. don't have to bring it up again? Yeah, right, sure. Bitter. So, Lester, tell me, what was that? I mean, what were these flowers for? Listen, Jill, it took me a long time to decide to tell you this, but <clears throat> from the moment Bernard introduced us, I fell in love with you instantly. But I'm married. I, I have a husband. I know this. But that's why I kept quiet all this time. But I ha don't have no strength anymore. Maybe there's some possibility, some chance. Well, Lester, listen. You're a nice guy, really. But I have a husband. I love him. I mean, I will not tell Bernard about this situation, okay? And let's just pretend it never happened. Yeah, all right. Um, shall I bring more coffee, maybe? Yes, please.
Is everything okay with you? Uh, yeah, I just, I feel a little bit sleepy. Oh, so I call the cab then. In her nest. Bernie, oh it's not what you think. Lester, how's my sweet little wifey? <laughs> Bernard, what's going on? What's going on? What are you, an idiot? This is going on. <laughs> what are you doing here? No, what is he doing oh my here? My God, are you so stupid? It was a setup. It was a trap. There was no business trip. I spent the whole night outside looking at the house. And lo and behold, Lester shows up. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. I can't explain. I'll explain everything. Shut up. You shut your home. Get out of here. What are you still doing here? Move! Run! You idiot. Get out of here! I'll deal with you later, you idiot. Run! Love it. Perfect. I got what I need. Amazing. Got it. Bernie, sweetheart. I really don't understand this story myself. I mean, yesterday we were having coffee, and then... then I got sick, and then I don't remember anything. Okay, great. Well, listen, you better think of a better story than that, because no court's going to believe that. And I also suggest get, for you to get a good lawyer, a divorce lawyer, all right? Because I'm filing the papers. I'll be back to get my stuff in this week. Not even that at you, baby. A delivery. Are you sure about this? I just had a delivery yesterday. Yes, Mr. Hassan paid for the delivery three days in advance. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oops, 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 oops. Um, so looks like I shouldn't have told you that. Uh, look, ma'am, I'm just an intern and I'm trying. Please don't tell my boss. Calm down, kid. It's okay. What's the highest tip you've ever had? About twenty dollars, I guess. Consider this as an investment in your professionalism. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. And now tell me. Did Bernard Hassan order these flowers? Um, yes, ma'am, that's correct. Okay. And did he order the delivery yesterday? Let me check. Oh, the order got canceled while I was on the road. Looks like I've done a lot of damage. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. You cannot even imagine how much you helped me. Whoa. Hi, Jill. Uh, hi. We need to talk. I've been thinking about what happened, Lester, and... You know, it was not an accident. I really felt the connection between us. And I really know we have feelings to each other. I'll give Bernard whatever he wants. And as soon as divorce is over, we can run away together, just you and me. And OK, we will not have money, but we can build a new life. We can start something together, just you and me. Lester, 
I really love you. I realize that now. And I truly believe it can work out for us. <laughs> That's really good, Jill. But I doubt it's gonna work it out. Why? Because I... Bernard is my friend. And I realized how wrong I was. You and me, we can't be together. There's no way. Uh, okay, think about it and you know where to find me, right? Yeah, of course, Jill. Uh, can you give me a glass of water, please? Because my mouth is so dry. Yes, just, just, just a minute. Mm, thank you. Crazy. Hello, Bernard. I got a visit from your wife. President Miss Roberts. <laughs> Miss Roberts. Based on the situation, my client, Mr. Hassan, and I have put together a documentation of property division issues, including points of moral compensation. You are welcome to review the documents, and I very much hope that we'll provide situation is sure. I doubt that the document you drafted is relevant. For God's sakes, honey. <laughs> you don't really have a choice. Listen, I don't want to bleed you dry, but if I have to, I will. What am I supposed to do if she starts stalking me? Look, it was your plan, and I did my part. All I want is just some of her money after the divorce. That's it. I did my part just perfectly clean. She slept like the death one after I gave her that sleeping powder. I was in the apartment until all night, until you got there. Oops. Looks like he mixed up our phone numbers, right? <laughs> you got it all wrong. Don't even try, Bernard, please. You've done a terrible thing. And the most important, it's illegal thing. Do you realize how terrible is it? How serious is it? You forcibly put me to sleep, Bernard. Your friend was in bed with me against my will. And I don't know what else he could have done. Listen, it wasn't like that at all. I would advise you to answer something right now, Mr. Hassan. Take this advice. My name is Chester Oliveira. I'm a detective on Miss Roberts' case. And right now, you and I are going straight ahead to the police station. You listen, listen to the recording, it's all his voice. There's nothing of me on there. You can't prove anything. For God. Shh. Lester is already given his statement, darling. What? Don't worry, I cannot forgive you. You've done wrong, and you have to answer to the law. That's all. Goodbye, Bernard. Forgive me! Jill, where are you going? Forgive me! Chill out. Jill! Come on! Sir, your session time is over. Wait. After having such a wonderful time with you, can we talk about a night massage? You don't have to understand anything. You'll just do an additional service, or I'll call the immigration office, and you'll be right away back to the hole 
you came from.